they're just about ready to go. I've asked mum to kindly French plait my hair, just because it's so hot, I kind of don't want it all lying around my neck. Um, I've just put some Zoeva, what is it called? Can't remember, matte lipstick on my lips. Sunny's on, and then this is my outfit of the day. Got my little jacket as well. I will try and show you properly later. I'm gonna take my YSL bag. So, we are ready to go. See you later, Lulu, my big Lulu boo. So we're currently stuck in traffic, um, trying to get to the main golf course pavilion area in the Wentworth estate. We're currently just enjoying the view of these insane houses. So as well as like obviously being a famous golf club, Wentworth is also home to a lot of very very fancy homes and um, we're currently trying to google how much they're worth on night frank but i think it's just gonna be priced on application but yeah i'll just show you a few more of the houses because um serious house lust what do you think time this one is just ocd perfection like yeah how perfect the green everything is i know i don't know if i like how perfect they are i, I don't like red brick rustic. i don't like the red brick straight up probably not one for me but I wouldn't say no I wouldn't if somebody wanted no. to just give me one. I wouldn't say no. <laughs> I wouldn't say no. But it's funny. Pavilion, which is where we're going to have lunch later with the team from Nespresso, who are the people that kindly invited us along today. Thank you, Nespresso. Charlie, coincidentally, has just picked one up <laughs> to get that one important <laughs> Instagram story. So now what we're going to do is find a golfer, doesn't matter who, just someone, and we're going to follow them around the course to um, Check follow out. the game. Yeah, Charlie was trying to explain the basic rules to me earlier. Josie, so we'll Josie asked if eight under was eight hole-in-ones. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like a logical question to me. Um. was at the golf at Wentworth. You guys, I think, saw me going to get my lunch, um, which was absolutely incredible. We had such a fabulous day. As you can tell, I'm not at the golf anymore. I'm back home, and it's actually Tuesday now. So we had a delicious lunch at the golf. Uh, we met all the team from Nespresso, and then we went out and watched a few more rounds, and then the heavens opened. It started pouring with rain. We didn't have a brolly, so we headed back to Charlie's mum and dad's house and just had... Um, had dinner there so a really chilled day now it's back to work after the lovely bank holiday weekend so what I thought I would do is turn this into a kind of multi day vlog I've been seeing quite a few um, youtubers doing like three or four days in a vlog and I really enjoy watching them and I think it's maybe a better idea than the daily vlogs I'm doing a few of in May you guys get to see more of the highlights over a few days instead of seeing me waking up going to the gym doing my evening routine every single day because I predict that that could get a little bit boring so let me know what you think to the new format if I do this maybe once a week or once every couple of weeks just showing you like the highlights so today I've got a day full of meetings I'm also going to the dentist or um, to the Smile Direct headquarters to talk about if I can improve my teeth any further 
further and look at the teeth journey that I've been on so I'll let you know what goes on there. Uh, but for now, this morning I've got a couple of meetings, got a breakfast meeting and then I think I might head into town and look into a few shops. And then I've got a lunch meeting, an early afternoon meeting and then I'm going to the dentist. So yeah, I'll take you guys along with me. I've got my hair scraped back today. I feel like a bit of an old school ballerina with this bun. Um, but I washed my hair and it was perfectly clean and then I put in a new oil which I thought I would try. Turns out it's an oil that you have to wash out because it's really, really thick. I obviously didn't have time to wash my hair again, so I've just got like that annoying, really oily ends. It sounds disgusting, it's not ideal. Um, but anyway, it's just gone eight o'clock, my breakfast is at nine, so better get going. Okay, I'm back home again. I feel like I didn't film anything while I was out in town today, so apologies about that. Um, but my last appointment today in Longacre Covent Garden was with Your Smile Direct, and they are the guys that did my clear braces, and I pretty much finished with my bottom aligners. My bottom teeth are just pretty much perfectly straight now. I'm so happy with the entire process, but I actually wanted to get a little bit more work done on my top teeth. I wanted to get them pushed back a little bit because from the side, I'm still a little bit goofy. Um, and since I made my own molds for the bottom teeth, quick recap if you haven't heard about my brace journey, but basically my bottom teeth were really quite jagged and I didn't want train tracks and Invisalign, the company was just too expensive. It was like 4,000 um, pounds. And then I heard about Your Smile Direct and their service, you basically, uh, what you used to do was do it at home. So you didn't have to go to a dentist, you didn't have to pay any middleman fees. And it's just over 1,100 pounds. I think it's 1,199. So literally a quarter of the price of these like Invisalign treatments, um, but pretty much the exact same thing, definitely the exact same results. So I was really amazed by this whole service. I had it on my bottom teeth and just so happy with it. Could not be more thrilled with the results. It's taken like six months and my bottom teeth are just so much straighter. If you want to have a good laugh, then go back to some of my old videos and just see how wonky my bottom teeth are. Just, you know, it's one of those things that may not be a big deal to some people, like onlookers, but for me, and also like editing videos, I would always see my teeth and I was like, oh my gosh, I would just be so much happier if they were straighter. So amazing process. So I wanted to do something to improve my top teeth. And they now have a new system. So you used to get like two balls of like putty sent to your door, you mix it together um, at home and you put it in the molds, you make your own molds, you send it off to the company. And then they send you like a, um, a video of how your teeth are going to move. They found that a lot of the time these molds were getting like lost in the post. You just can't rely on silly Royal Mail and DPD these days. So they now have a new option where you can go to a local, uh, I think they call it a smile factory, and they have them in London, Covent Garden, they have them in Birmingham, Manchester, and lots of other cities. And this is what I had done today. So you basically have this big contraption in your mouth, um, holds your mouth open, and then the dentist sprays, it's not like a dentist office, it's like a just a nice office. She sprays your teeth with uh, like a liquid or like a spray on toothpaste, and then scans your teeth. So there's like this UV, like a giant toothbrush, it goes in your mouth and she moves it around your teeth. And as she's doing that, you can see on this giant iPad screen that it's creating a digital scan of your teeth. I wish I'd recorded it, it was so clever. Um, and after she'd done that, it took like 10 minutes, then she had the computerized version of my teeth on her screen. And from that, they're gonna um, use like the software to figure out how my teeth are gonna move and then send me the video. And then when I'm happy with it and approve it, they then send my braces. So yeah, I'm really excited to get even more improvement done on my teeth, on my top teeth. And as always, I will keep you guys updated on the process. That's our next door neighbour doing some chainsawing outside, so I guess I won't be filming a video today. Um, but yes, I've just got home, I'm gonna sit down with my laptop, Charlie has set up our new Nespresso machine while I've been away, and this one has a milk frother, which our old one didn't, so I'm gonna give that a go. So um, I'll make myself a coffee, and then settle in for the afternoon. It's four o'clock and I've got a lot of work to do. Ok, 
Okay, let's give it a try. I'm impressed with how frothy this is to start with. I feel like I have tried so many different ways of getting proper frothy coffee at home and none of them have given me anything quite this frothy. Oh my goodness. That is actually better than restaurant cappuccino. We've got a little somebody trying to jump up on the sofa to join me. What do you think to him joining us, Dexter? Shall we allow it? Yes! My handsome boy! What you looking at mummy like that for, little girl? Okay, so it is now the next day. I feel like with these weekly vlogs, I'm gonna have to get used to somehow doing a better transition because otherwise you guys are just gonna see random snippets from random days. Um, but as you may be able to tell, I'm a little bit more bronzed than when you last saw me. I've had a spray tan today. I went to my favorites. I went to the Vita Liberata little pop-up, which is in the Benefit store. And, oh, that was a puppy cry. Um, Benefit Carnaby Street has a Vita Liberata little station downstairs. So I went there. I'll try and show you a picture of my tan line without being rude. Um, but yeah, really love this colour because we are off to <laughs> we are off to Madrid tomorrow, and I just really wanted to get a nice tan because obviously we're not really going to have time sunbathe. It's a city trip, so thought I'd get a little bit bronze before I go. Really, really happy with this colour. Looks really lovely and natural. Uh, but before that, I also had a meeting with the lovely girls at Benefit. And I thought it might be quite interesting to go through my goodie bag with you. Um, so when bloggers meet PRs, they're often extremely generous and give us some new products to try out. And Benefit are some of the most generous in the whole industry. I have this ginormous swag bag. Um, I just kind of made that term up. I don't know if that's a thing. But it looks like there's some amazing things in here. So I thought I'd show you some of the highlights. First of all, um, Boing is one of my favourite concealers. I normally use it under my eyebrow bone to just really sharpen up the eyebrows. It's really lovely and creamy, long lasting, but also mega strength. So they've repackaged in this beautiful pink packaging. This one is their industrial strength concealer. And then this one I think is more of a moussey. Yeah, this is an airbrush concealer. So a new consistency of Boing, which I'm really excited to try. Then I've got one of my favourites, the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. That's one that I use almost on a daily basis. I've got my favourites. This is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara in brown and black. I had run out of the brown one, so very happy to have a top up of that. I've also, because as you guys know, my skin is a little bit on the shiny side, I've got the Professional Primer, which is amazing, just base to your makeup, keeps you matte all day. And then Professional Agent Zero Shine, which is like, you can just keep that in your handbag and tap it on any areas that you might be getting a little bit shiny. Highbrow Glow Pencils. This one has a little highlight underneath it. You can really just illuminate underneath the brow bone. This I'm intrigued to try. This is Hula Zero Tan Lines. I remember seeing Benefit's amazing blogger trip. I think they took a load of American bloggers to Hawaii to launch this. It looked insane. So if I didn't have a spray tan on already, I would definitely be bringing this with me. But I think I'll save this until my next trip. And it's just going to give me the most wonderful buffed and bronzed glow. Gosh, so many things. Then we've got Hoola Quickie Contour Stick that I have not tried before, but I'm guessing it's gonna be Hoola color, but in like a cream contour stick. So excited to try that. Uh, Cabrow, this is the cream gel brow. So this is the one that's a little bit like the Anastasia Dip Brow. Big fan of that. Uh, Browsings, obviously Benefit is like number one brow, band, brow brand. They have so many products. This is the, uh, what is, I think this is the eyeshadows. Yeah, so it's got two different shadows in there and a gel for perfecting the brows. Uh, Gimme Brow, we all know and love. I talk about this in like every video where I'm doing my brows. So I don't need to remind you about that one. This is, I think this is the California blush, which I've not tried either. Really like retro snazzy packaging and it's kind of like a peachy pink shade. So hopefully it will be very much my colour. Getting to the last few pieces, Hoola Light. So everyone's favourite bronzer, Hoola is now available in a lighty, lighty? Lighter, more ashy shade. Can't wait to try that. I'm going to put that in my urgently must try pile. 
Um, precisely my brow pencil, again I use this nearly every day, it's just a roll up brow pencil uh, with a spoolie on one end and the crown on the other, so very very handy. We have got another boing, uh, this is the brightening concealer, so I'm guessing this one will just be a few shades lighter, good for under the eyes. And then two products here, what are these? Foamingly clean facial wash and uh, refined finish facial polish. I've not tried Benefit Skincare before, so really looking forward to giving these a go. I'll keep you guys updated as always. So now it's about half past seven in the evening. Um, I have got a whole room full of mess, full of shopping and full of I can't find it, there we go, that was really challenging, uh, shopping and blogger mail, uh, so I'm just going to have a massive unboxing session and I also have to pack for Spain because I haven't even started and we're leaving super early in the morning, uh, so yeah, packing, unboxing, do a little bit of work, a little bit of emails and my mum is arriving any second to take the doggies away because she's looking after them. So yeah, I'm going to do some blog mail unboxing and I will show you just the highlights afterwards. <laughs> Okay, so please excuse the mess in the background, but before my mum gets here, I've opened maybe two thirds of my blog amount and I'm gonna quickly run through a few of my favorite pieces. So I've just opened up this amazing box from Rimmel. So it says the Cara Camo Collection. Um, and then inside we've got this like camo print bit of fabric and revealed inside is this camouflage print. Hello Dexter. Any ruffling is Dexter now scurrying through my blogger mail. So loads of the Rimmel um, classic products have now got this like camo packaging on them. Really good fun. In collaboration with Cara Delevingne, you've got three very like army print, um, army shade nail varnishes, a black, a blush, and a khaki. And then the brow this way has been rebranded. You've got the concealer stick, a lipstick, which is in this beautiful kind of blushy nude shade. Definitely need to try that one on. Uh, and then we've got a mascara and a brow highlight. So they've all been like repackaged with this camouflage print on them in collab with good old Cara. Another blog amount, which was really exciting, came wrapped up in this, which is a traditional Japanese cotton cloth, which is ceremonial for giving gifts and protecting things. Inside were two new launches from Cordially. So this is from their Vino Perfect range and it's new as part of the Korean 10 step beauty routine and essence which helps the rest of your skincare really work to its maximum capacity. And then a radiance serum for complexion correcting face, neck and décolleté. De décolleté. Um, so yeah, two new launches this month from Cordially. So it says these are good for radiance, for anti-dark spots. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to give these a go. Two new launches from Aveda. I just love everything this brand bring out. This is an intense hydrating mask for the hair as part of their botanical kinetics range. And then here we have a radiant skin refiner. So I'm guessing, yeah, this is a facial exfoliator. So I'm gonna pop these in the shower. Both Charlie and I love Aveda, so I'll definitely be sharing these. This is a really beautiful blogger mail from Darfan, this really beautiful little um, travel clutch with palm trees on it, so pretty. And then something very new from them, a sultry shimmering oil, Soleil, Soleil Plaisir. It looks like this, it's like a sparkly shimmering oil, obviously Darfan, I like the master of oils. So it's really nice they've now got a shimmering one, I guess you can put this on your face to give you a beautiful glow before makeup or on your body and of course it's going to have all the benefits of the usual Darfan essential oils so definitely going to take that on my travels. I also have two new tanning products from Tan Lux and I've tried their facial serum before um, that's meant to help you get natural tan and also their tanning facial serum. Love both of them, I love the branding, it's very sleek, their products work really well, they smell beautiful. This is their hydrating self tan water. So I've heard really good things about this, it's clear, um, revolutionising the way you tan, purest, safest and most natural formulation. Hydrating water is packed full of vitamins B5, C and E, raspberry seed oil, leave the skin feeling conditioned and nourished. Skin looks flawless and glowing in four to six hours. That sounds lovely. And then illuminating tanning butter. So two very lovely launches. So next I'm going to attack these guys, the fashion, um, the fashion deliveries. Dexter, meanwhile, is trying to chew my Benefit Cosmetics, my little monkey. 
But um, I feel like this vlog has already been quite long and I just need to get cracking. So I'm gonna do this. I'm probably gonna film a haul video. Um, in fact, I'm thinking about doing haul week because I have been buying quite a lot for the new season. So maybe like a haul video every day. So let me know your thoughts on that, whether I should do it. Um, and if you've got this far, and if you think I should do a haul week, then leave like a handbag emoji or the word handbag um, in the comment section so I know which of you guys have got to the very end. So from me and Dexter and Dickens and Charlie downstairs, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned because I'm doing loads of really fun things over the next few weeks and I really want to take you guys along with me. Mwah! So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.